this video I am going to tell about the next problem in the hacker rank that is basic data types in the C++ so they have introduced here about several data types basic data types such as integer long care float and double integer is specified as percentage D long is specified as percentage LD character is percentage C float is percentage F double is percentage LF these are the format specifiers of the, these respective data types. Integer takes 32 bit, long 64, float 32 bit, double 64 bit to store the values. In C++, to read the value from the input or from the user, we use the scanf function. Scanf is a function to uh, read the uh, data from the user. It is a scanf takes two arguments. First is format specifier, the data type which it, it is taking as an input. That data type's format has to be specified here, followed by the value where to store the uh, input data type. In C for printing, also we have print printf function which is similar to scanf as it is also containing format specifier followed by the value to be printed both of these uh, scanf and printf function are important because these are a basic function to read data from the user and to print them to the console for this problem the problem statement is about we have to read the five space separated integers uh, space separated values which are integer long character float and double and we need to print them one at a line one per line so let us solve this problem first we will declare the given data types which are integer long care float and double After declaring the required variables, we can use the scanf function to read the data from the standard input. First, we will specify the format specifier. The format specifier is separate for each data type. For integer, it is percentage %d, for long percentage %ld, for character percentage %c, for float percentage %f, for double percentage %lf. We will use the same thing. After specifying the format specifier, we need to tell the compiler that where to store the input values. We can use the ampersand value followed by the uh, variable where to store the value. For example, ampersand a means that the integer value read as a first input should be stored in the variable a. Same way we will use for other After reading the data, we can use the printf function to print them. So, in the printf function also, we need to specify the same uh, format specifier. In printf function, we need not to use the ampersand a. We just use the a to print the value present in the variable a same way for b c d and e we will run the code
so there is some mistake in the code so the output needs to be printed one at a line so we can use the new line character for each of the data type. So what this does is it will print each of the variable into separate line because the output format has been given as each of the value has to be printed into separate line. We will run it again. The sample test case have been passed. We will submit the code for evaluation. All the test cases have been passed. Thank you.